In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use nested if statements. And so what that essentially means is being able to make decisions with inside of other decisions. And so I kept up our program from last time. And so we're going to put an if statement right in here. And so last time we said, if age is greater than or equal to 21, then do this. If not, do this. So what I'm going to do is put another statement in here. And actually, I'm going to come up and we're going we're gonna to collect two items worth of data this time. Uh, so we're going to say, let's see, this one's going to be called... Um, Let's see, well, we'll get creative and say greeting two. Uh, and then for the prompt, we're also going to duplicate the prompt. And we're not going to call that age. We're going to come in and say greeting two. Prompt stays the same. Uh, and then here, we'll say license. And here, we'll ask if they have their license. Uh, do you? driver's license okay and so now it's going to prompt them twice and it's going to collect two pieces of data and so we're going to move away from the buying around and we're going to try to figure out uh, some car insurance rates so right here we're going to go change our prompt from if the age is over 18 and then inside, we're going to say if age, uh, let's see, if license equals yes. And then we're also going to, and this is not the best, the most well written program that I've ever done uh, and the reason for I'm just teaching you how to do net nested if statements um, in other cases we wouldn't be relying on a string literal because someone could do things like putting a capital yet a capital Y or they could do spaces there's a lot of other things and all we're gonna go into user validation uh, later but for right now, I'm just showing you how to nest if statements. So we're going to copy this and paste this alert. And then we're going to end this statement. So if age is greater than 18 and if license is a yes, then we're going to say in that alert that, uh, let's see, what are we going to say? We're going to say you qualify for insurance but it's going to be expensive okay and now we're gonna get rid of this and then we're gonna do an else and actually what the other thing I'm gonna teach you you gonna actually learn two big things within this one module so uh, just pay attention on this uh, we're going to do something called an elf is elf ish statement elf else if statement sorry uh, tripping over my own words and so in this else if we're going to give another parameter and I'm just gonna copy and paste this um, and we'll give this an else just in case license is a no, uh, just to show exactly why we would do that. Um, let's see, console or alert. You can't get insurance without your license. Okay, that makes more sense to put that statement in. Okay, now what we're gonna do is try to calculate their rate. And so we're gonna say insurance rates go down after you turn 25. So we're going to say else if age is greater than, 
or equal to 25. We're going to give this, we're going to copy and paste all of this stuff right up here. Uh, let's see. Oh, and you know what? I was about to make a pretty ugly problem. If you notice what I was doing, I was actually connecting this LSIF to this nested chain. That's something you have to be careful about. So we're going to come down and add this end. Okay, just to show you what I did there so that you are aware of it, uh, I was about to put this LSIF else if statement inside the nested one that's a mistake uh, and I'm gonna stretch this out so that's part of the reason why because uh, it was going on a different line uh, so to do an else if you connect it you could connect it in within this nested one but that wouldn't make any sense for this program so I connected moved the else if down to this if statement and so now we're checking to see if age is greater than or equal to 25 and then we're going to print something else out uh, now the one thing uh, from a logic standpoint uh, this program is actually not going to work and the reason why is because the way if statements work is you actually go and if the program will look at this conditional if it's true it actually doesn't care about anything else that is written within the rest of that if statement. So right here, if you look at the logical conditional where it says age is greater than or equal to 18, well, what happens if the person puts in that they're 50? It's going to go and just say, okay, well, this is accurate. And it skips over the fact of our 25 one. So we're going to have to change this up and we're going to do the 25 one first and we're going to take out this whole expensive thing because we're going to say and it will be cheaper than if you were younger okay and the same else statement is true if you you if you have a license you can't get insurance so that's good okay now if your age is greater than or equal to 18, which will essentially mean they're 18, uh, they're at least 18, but they're younger than 25. Uh, and then it's going to do some work over here. And so we will take this whole if statement here and just paste it in because it's almost the same thing. And so we're going to do uh, license yes you qualify for insurance but it will be expensive and also if this was a real live application uh, we would be putting this within functions and we would actually do some other things that would make more sense but uh, this will just show you how uh, how the nested if statements work. So, okay, I think that we may have this and I think it's going to work. So let's try it out. So I'm going to click run. My age is 30. Hit OK. And do I have my driver's license? I'm going to type in yes. You qualify for insurance and it'll be cheaper than if you're younger. Perfect. So what that did, it looked at age and it saw that I also had insurance and so it went here. Let's try the same thing. What's my age? I'm 30. Do you have insurance? Nope. You can't get insurance without your license. Perfect. We'll try one other one. And so what's your age? I am 18. And do you have your driver's license? Yes. You qualify for insurance, but it will be expensive. Perfect. So all of this worked well. Uh, if this were a real live program, obviously we would have done another else statement here um, that would have checked if they were under 18 to let them know that they weren't old enough for any uh, to even um, 
uh, to qualify for insurance or you know whatever the rule that we would establish would be. Um, I know some states at 16, other ones have changed to 18. So uh, it just kind of depends on what the rules are. But this shows you exactly how you can use if statements to uh, create, uh, to have your programs create decisions and to run that way. Um, so if you followed along, great job. In the next section, uh, we're actually going, or in the next episode, we're going to go into even more complicated complicated if statements, and we're going to go on how you can pass multiple uh, conditionals with inside a single if statement and that's going to actually help us clean up and refactor this code and make it a little bit cleaner and easier to use so uh, good luck um, on uh, learning this side of it and I will see you in the next episode